Hey everyone, happy Labor Day weekend. Mike Kai here uh, with a little video overview of my smoke system. Uh, this is, I call it an Amish smoke system, jokingly, uh, because it, it requires no electricity. And the smoke system is actually a very good way. Not only am I a, a wannabe air show pilot, which obviously will never happen at this age, uh, I still am waiting for a phone call, though. The Cleveland Air Show is going on downtown. And if one of the Thunderbird pilots calls in sick, I'm still waiting for that call. Probably not going to happen. Anyway, the smoke system is a good way to have a lot of fun. And really what it is also is a collision avoidance system. If you're coming in the pattern with a lot of faster airplanes, they sometimes don't see a smaller airplane like a Pete and Pole Air Camper. So I'll give a couple puffs of smoke in the pattern or as I'm approaching an airport. And uh, sometimes I'm no radio and uh, perfectly legal, but you know everybody who's expecting you to call on the radio and you don't, they can miss you visually. So I give a, a couple of smoke system puffs and it helps out a lot. So what happened was I was missing, or my smoke, my smoke oil pump was leaking. And uh, so I put in a new one and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you the basics of the smoke, so smoke system. The smoke system is basically a Better Homes and Gardens bug sprayer assembly. You can get them in various sizes at Home Depot, uh, Lowe's and all that. And it's just a pump sprayer that goes in and that's it. You pump up, you pump this up, hit the trigger and it sprays out, you know, insecticide or water, whatever you want, in this case, smoke oil. So uh, this is the new smoke oil bottle that I installed today. You can see I've got the OSHA EPA uh, warning on it. So this is $5.99, $6. Anyway, you have to modify the nozzle here to fit whatever plumbing system you want to use. So you have to take off the nozzle and you, you get it down to where it's just the actuator mechanism where you pull this, you push this down, it pulls a plunger out here, and then you inject the oil through here. So I basically have a series of couplings. You know, you just have to be creative. Um, the same tubing that I use for airspeed tubing uh, for, that's uh, airspeed, isn't it? Airspeed, <laughs> it only gets to about here, folks. Uh, in here in a dive. So I digress. So this is quarter-inch poly tubing. It runs all the way along the Longeron inside here, over there. And <clears throat> I transition it to, as Uncle Tony Bengelis would say, everything firewall forward has to be either, uh, it has to, it should be metal, should be metal. So I transition to quarter-inch tubing and it's right here, quarter-inch tubing, into a fitting that I welded into the exhaust stack. And if you notice, the fitting is really at the top of the exhaust stack where the exhaust is hottest. You could drill it in over here or over here or down here, but by the time the exhaust gases get down here, they're cooler. You want to get them when they're hot. And I'm not an authority. A lot of people claim to be an authority on this or that. I'm not an authority. I'm just an amateur home builder. But I have flown with the smoke system for 21 years now, actually more than that. I had one on the Aranka Champ too. So I kept this thing kind of figured out. Um, so hopefully you can do this too if you want. So what you do, you weld in a fitting of your choice and AN, swage lock, uh, plumbing fitting, whatever, whatever suits your fancy. So you weld the fitting, here's the, here is the key. You weld the fitting on and then don't drill a hole until you weld the fitting on. And then inside the hole, I drilled into the exhaust wall, two tiny number 60 drill bit holes, very tiny drill bit. And that acts as a nozzle. It atomizes, doesn't atomize, but it just makes a real fine spray into the exhaust. You don't go through a ton of smoke oil, but you go through enough smoke oil to give you a good plume out here. And it keeps your, it keeps your landing gear all shiny too, you know? So it's, a, it's kind of a double benefit. So that's it, that's the smoke system. Uh, don't, don't get caught up in buying smoke oil or all these expensive smoke oils or whatever. Listen, all you need is mineral oil. So I found a company in Cleveland, I just kept calling around and to different uh, oil distributors. And I says, hey, do you guys sell mineral oil? Because that is what smoke oil is. Smoke oil is basically mineral oil. And I found a guy in Cleveland who, uh, he, right away, he says, no problem. It's a lot cheaper. I don't know how much those were, I forget, maybe, 
maybe $30 a five gallon pail, which is a lot cheaper than you would get if you buy it, uh, you know, when it says smoke oil on it. And what you don't want to do though, that's, that's, that this stuff, when it burns, you can inhale it and you're not going to die. Don't put transmission fluid in. Don't put hydraulic fluid in. Don't put concrete release uh, fluid in. These things can mess up your lungs. You don't want to do that. You're going to breathe it in in the open cockpit airplane. And uh, mineral oil is all you need. Now, some people, Chuck Ganser, use baby oil. Baby oil not only uh, looks good, it has a lot of white smoke, but you wouldn't, you know, I mean, it's great. It's, it's good stuff, but it's expensive. So that's it. Signing off, hope you have a good weekend, and we'll catch you later.